Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at rotating shapes around a circle in Adobe Photoshop and we're going to do this two ways. Once with the shape not changing its rotation angle and once with it rotating as it goes. So the two results you're going to get are here on the screen now. So we're going to start with a document. Now you need this to be a known size and it needs to be evenly divisible by two. So my document is a thousand by a thousand pixels. I'm going to put a shape in here. So I'm going to the shape tools. I'm just going to click on custom shape. I have a little crown here that we're going to use. I've got a fill color, no stroke. I'm going to hold the shift key down as I just draw out my topmost crown. Now this is the crown that we're going to rotate around the circle in two ways. We're going to start by making sure it's in the middle of the document. So I'm selecting over my crown. I'm going to these three dots here and making sure that align to canvas is selected. Now I'm just going to click this option. So we're going to align the horizontal centers. That means that the center of this shape is in the center of the document. Now I'm going to select over the shape before I begin and now we're going to write a very simple action because the action's just going to make things so much easier to do and it's also going to give us both solutions at once. So I'm going to choose window and then actions. Now if you've never created an action before this is simplicity itself. You're just going to click down here at the bottom and that's going to start a new action but you need to make sure that you've selected this before you begin because we don't want to have to build the selection into the action. So I'm going to call this rotate and I'm going to do a 20 degree rotation, but you can do a rotation of any value provided the number that you use goes into 360 without anything left over. So 20 goes into 360 18 times. You could do 15, you could do 30, you could do 45, you could do 60. Those sorts of numbers will divide into 360 and leave nothing behind. Just be aware of that, otherwise your rotation's not going to look good at the end. It's going to work, but it's not going to look good. And remember what value you chose here. So I'm just going to click on record. So we are now recording every step that we do. So you're going to go up here to the layer menu and you're going to choose new and then shape layer via copy because we have drawn a shape. So I'm just going to click on that. So we have a second shape layer and that one is selected. So we're going up next to the edit option and we're going to choose free transform path. Now you're going to need to make sure that this little check mark here is selected and then you're going to come over to the shape and you're just going to drag this center point down and we're aiming for half the width and half the height of the document. Now I had a document that was a thousand by a thousand so I'm going to place this roughly at 500, 500. I won't get it exactly right but that doesn't matter because as soon as I've dragged it you can see here that the X and Y value are the X and Y value of this rotation point. So we can just come in here and change these values to 500 and 500. Now make sure that the width and height don't change at all. And in the rotation here in this angle, we're going to put whatever value it is that we want to rotate. And in this case, we're using 20 degrees. So I'm going to type 20 degrees. You can see that this is rotating 20 degrees. I'll click the check mark. Now, if we want this to be upright, what's happened is that the shape has rotated 20 degrees, but we have to back it off so it's upright. So without deselecting anything, we're going straight back into edit and we're going to transform path and we're going to rotate. And here we're going to make it a negative of whatever rotation value we used. So I rotated 20 degrees, so I'm going negative 20 degrees. If you went 60 degrees, it'll be negative 60 degrees and so on. And then we'll click the check mark. And then we'll come down here to the bottom of the actions palette and we're just going to click here on stop playing recording. That's it. We're now done. So now we're going back to this rotate 20, so make sure that you actually select the action that you just wrote and you can just play it. Just click once to play it. And every time you click, your shape is rotated around and you can test that it works by taking it one step more because this second shape should go right over the top of the first and it does. So when I delete it, you can see that it's right over the top. Now that's the rotation where the shape maintains its upright position. 
But what if we want the shape to actually rotate around and to twist as it does? Well, we'll go back to selecting our original shape. We'll go back to our action. And if you remember what we did when we recorded this action is we made a layer via copy and then we rotated it around the 20 degrees or whatever value you choose to use. And then we just cleaned up the shape rotation because the shape rotated at the same time as moving 20 degrees around. So what we're going to do is we're just going to disable that. So now we're going to do the first two steps, but not the third. Select back over rotate 20 and start clicking. A test, we take it one step too far, make sure that the two shapes go exactly over the top of each other, which they do. So there we have the shapes rotating around a circle, but this time we're not cleaning up the rotation. So the shapes are not actually standing upright. They're just going around the circle very evenly. So you've got two options to use. The action is simplicity itself to create. It's going to be saved with Photoshop. It's in this Photoshop preferences. So it's going to be available to you anytime you want to use it. And you could easily create actions that would rotate 30 degrees or 60 degrees and have a whole little bundle of them. If you like carefully researched content like this clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.